Thank you for joining us for this Facebook Live session uh, with the Canadian Celiac Association. And my name is Dominika Gidrevich. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist in Calgary. And I'm also a member of the Professional Advisory Committee for the Canadian Celiac Association. And tonight I'll be talking about uh, another one of the atypical symptoms of celiac disease. Uh, this one quite pediatric specific and it'll be about short stature. Uh, again, this is one of our my first times doing Facebook Live, so if you're joining us live, give me a big thumbs up, that would be great. I'll be looking at any questions you might be posting and trying to answer them during the session as well. So, um, I think there's, a, there's some important things that I wanted to mention about short stature and celiac disease. And first of all, short stature could be the only symptom that a child might present with and ultimately be diagnosed with celiac disease. When you just screen children for short, when you look at a clinic and screening children for short stature, about 8% of those children will actually have celiac disease as a cause of their short stature. And children may be have short stature without any other symptoms such as abdominal pain or diarrhea. So firstly, you might wonder what is short stature? So that is when a child's height would be less than expected for their weight and that's when it's compared to other children for their same age and same gender. So I think it's really important, first of all, to, to have um, several plots of a child's growth over time because that can be really helpful to determine how the child is growing in both height and weight. And I, it's important to also know that there are many causes for short stature, not simply celiac disease, and probably the, one of the most common causes of short stature is actually called familial short stature. And that's when both one or both parents are shorter and the child is simply growing along their genetic potential. Another really common cause of short stature is called con constitutional so short stature. So that may be where one of the parents say, yes, I was a late bloomer as well. So those are children that um, are born at normal uh, size, then their growth slows around three to five years of age. They continue to grow along their uh, growth curve and then have quite an accelerated growth when they go into puberty. So that's called constitutional uh, um, short stature. Then the other uh, categories include hormonal co causes such as growth hormone deficiency. And then there's a whole group of non-endocrine causes. Uh, there's Gastrointestinal causes, of course, celiac disease is what we're talking about today. Crohn's disease would be another cause of short stature in children. Kidney diseases can cause short stature. So when there's a child who's not growing, as we would expect them, there's a whole list of uh, considerations that a physician would think about and having the pattern of a child's growth over time and tracking it on a growth curve is really important to, um, to determine about the short stature. So when you look at children with newly diagnosed celiac disease, about 20 to 30% of them will have short stature. And the really good news about uh, children and newly diagnosed celiac disease is that they catch up in their growth. And about 65% of children will catch up in their growth. And I can tell you from a clinical standpoint, I usually see my patients back at three months after they've been diagnosed. And one of the first things I can tell is that they've started to gain weight again, they've started to grow in their height, even before I've repeated their celiac screen. So it's really great news in children. And one of the reasons, of course, that we want to diagnose children as soon as possible is to allow them to reach their maximal height and that they don't go undiagnosed with celiac disease for too long. Um, there, we don't really understand uh, all the causes for short stature in celiac disease. One of them may be the malnutrition, uh, that when the, the intestine are injured and the nutrients are malabsorbed, that this may then lead to um, uh, effects on the growth. Children with celiac disease may also have decreased growth hormone secretion uh, and also decreased insulin uh, like uh, growth factor one and growth and binding protein. So there's some hormonal reasons why children with active celiac disease might have short stature. 
and likely some nutritional factors, and probably both of them are, have interplay into the causes of short stature. So I think the take-home points would be that if you uh, have a child who, who you're worried about their growth, they're not growing as expected, then uh, and they may uh, and they may not have any other symptoms, uh, any gastrointestinal symptoms. Then do, doing a celiac screen is, sim is a really easy way um, to rule that out. I have a question here. Um, what? How likely are the chance, chances that the child will regain their height? Um, and so, when we've studied children, uh, about 65% of them do regain. Uh, their height, um, and they will do this throughout their puberty years when they're growing maximally. And uh, certainly that is a little bit, that would be a bit different if you have a child who may have gone many years without being diagnosed with celiac disease and then um, had gone through many years of their puberty without being diagnosed, and therefore their height would be more affected and potentially their ability to make, to catch up on their height would also be impaired. Um, so, uh, if you have concerns about short stature in a child, uh, it is important to uh, look back on their growth over their growth chart. I think that's a really important thing, uh, an important piece of information. And the other thing to remember is that celiac disease is hereditary. So, first and second degree relatives, especially first degree relatives, have a higher risk of celiac disease. So. Even if other members of the family are shorter, and you might just think that the child is short because their family members are short, well, those family members might have celiac too. So I think it's important if you're worried about celiac disease to ask your family doctor to screen it. Um, I have another question here looking at some uh, bone health, which relates also to short stature. And when it comes to bone health, uh, calcium supplement, adequate calcium intake for children is really important and about 1,300 milligrams a day for children over between 9 and 18 years of age. And vitamin D supplement is important for bone health, and activity is also important for bone health. We know that children who may have active celiac disease may not want to play as much, may not be as active, and so um, after they're diagnosed and starting to feel better, really getting them active is a really important um, way to keep their bones healthy. So, in summary, if you're worried about uh, short stature, uh, it could be a symptom of celiac disease. 20 to 30 percent of newly diagnosed children um, with celiac disease do have short stature, and about 8 percent of children who are just screened for short, look, investigated for short stature, actually end up having celiac disease as their ultimate diagnosis. Um, I hope you found this session helpful. I'd like to thank our sponsor for today, Shar, for sponsoring this day. Um, I'm also doing a webinar next Wednesday, May the 16th, on um, covering more atypical symptoms of celiac disease and going over uh, short stature and some of the other ones will, uh, as well. And if you've enjoyed this session, please consider donating to the Canadian Celiac Association. The Canadian Celiac Association is the voice for the celiac community in Calgary. It is a national charitable organization. They sponsor events such as today's. Uh, to raise awareness for celiac disease and provide accurate information, um, as well as sponsor, as well as uh, sponsor research, looking for treatments and a cure. And you can find more information or make a donation at www.celiac.ca. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a great night. <laughs>